Hello trail trackers. Well, you probably can't see me because I'm in a secret location here. Well, look, I look a little bit. Like, good God, how to make me look worse than normal. Look at that. Uh, right, I'm going to illuminate myself momentarily here. In fact, I'll put it on turbo. In fact, what am I using here? I'm using the e E4K by Nightcore. Not a bad light. Um, triple emitter, uh, sorry, quad emitter this one. Uh, in fact, let's see if I can get it on the turbo. There you go, there's turbo. Look at that. It's lighting the whole room. Right, so... Um, uh, just a quick just a quick update um there's a virus on the go and i won't mention the name because i've tried to upload stuff before with the name just before there and it blocks it so thanks youtube i really like the way that you get rid of um, freedom of speech now as you know i'm a big um, backer of freedom of speech i think it's extremely important but um, youtube don't think it's important but they're a public and sorry they're a, they're a private company so i don't have any sort of way of combating that so i'll say that a certain virus, which I won't name, that's getting quite hot now, um, um, is running rampant. And because of that, there are certain um, civil liberties that are taken away in those in instances. In other words, I can't leave the house unless I'm doing exercise and things like that. So with that in mind, it means I'm unable to do a lot of the testing of flashlights. I can do them on private property and, and during exercise and things like that. And the same with getting out into nature. I mean, it's springtime here and I want to get out, but I can't. Um, so please bear with me. I'll try and produce some content in other ways, um, but just bear with the channel and understand it's not because I'm lazy. I just don't have the ability but because um, the government have decided it's time for lockdown, lock everyone down and take away all the civil liberties. Now, what we'll do is later on, when no one's looking, we'll not give you all of them back, just like they did with the Patriot Act. So keep an eye on that and see uh, see what happens in the future. But obviously, in the meantime, um, they can certainly use the excuse anyway that it's to save lives, which it may well do, and I'm not uh, uh, arguing against that, but I just want to make sure that the, the civil liberties and the freedoms that they're taking away to stop people leaving properties and things like that, I want to make sure that they give them all back I think that's extremely important. You know, as I always say, a good government should be afraid of the people, not the other way around. But we're not going to get into that because I'm going to try and talk about the channel. So uh, I haven't been able to do a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to be testing this, the um, E4K by Nightcore. I'll keep testing it and see what I come up with. I'm in a secret location here because um, we're about to go out and the Trail Tech team are going to go and do an amphibian hunt. Um, tonight as part of our once a day exercise which we're allowed um, so we'll go out and do that but I can't dwell in one area um, but it depends if you're on public property and things like that so we'll we'll do that and I'll, I'll produce content um, as and when I can um, but understand and bear with me in that time um, so with that with that in mind we're going to go out now in the lovely dark it's it's probably going to rain a little bit um, so I wish good health on everyone watching this um, and I hope this blows over quickly. It probably won't, but I understand why they're, they're taking the measures that they are, keeping people in, and what that does is it it stunts the spike. Um, in other words, well, let's get down to basics. Essentially, there's not enough beds or ventilators, so what you do is you keep everyone in, it, it takes the spike off, um, and it means you, you, the people and facilities you do have are more able to cope with um, an outbreak of a virus which I won't name because I did it in the last video and it got blocked so um, I'm sorry I can't mention the name so good health to everyone let's stay safe I'm going to do my bit to try not to spread any diseases because I, I certainly don't want anyone ill and if there is anyone watching this who is suffering because of this I my deepest sympathies and I really feel for you um, and it's not a very nice thing to have to deal with and um, so good health and everyone um, I wish you luck in this trying time and I'll try and produce some content but with that in mind I'm off I've had enough I'm off goodbye
just out trail tracking in the dark. So I'm going to turn my light off. There, that's how dark it actually is. So we're having a trail track in a secret location somewhere in Scotland. Look at that, two torch, two torches up there. And we're seeing what, what animals we can spot in, in the middle of nowhere. Right, look at this trail track issue here. The hat <laughs> is too far down and the light is all over this all over the place. So you you look a bit like Toad off Super Mario. <laughs> We're not gonna find any animals in this state. There's that better. I'll show you how dark it is. Look, there's some water over there, so they're probably from there. If I'll shine the fireflies at it. Let's get that out. There you go. Bit of a floody beam, but you can see there's a, there's a water source there. Oh, and the wee guys are tumbling. Oh, they're, they're, <laughs> Careful. Play, they're playing fall down the mountain. Hmm. So the amphibians are out. In fact, can you hear them?
Right, we're still out walking here, so sorry about the sound quality, but you can see that the drizzle's coming down quite hard, which is good for the amphibians which are out. Now we've seen um, a newt, frogs, uh, pigeons, rabbit, rabbit cat. cat, a cat in the middle of nowhere, I don't know what the cat was doing in the middle of nowhere, that was a bit weird. Um, so, believe it or not, in the middle of nowhere, in a secret location somewhere in Scotland, um, we're able to find all these animals in the middle of the night. And we are taking care to make sure we're not standing on them as well. So it just shows you, I mean, this is it's just turned spring, but there's still animals out. They're coming out tentatively, same with the insects. I've seen spiders, flies, slugs, um, as long as they don't get killed by the frost that can come out. But we're in the middle of nowhere, it's lovely, nice and relaxing. Not too cold either. No, nah, it's pretty nice. I'll give you a 360 to prove we're in a, in a secret location. So that's behind, nothing. But I'll turn the headlamp on. There you go. For those who want to know I'm using the Army Tech, that's why it's a warm tint. And then that on on that heed over there is the night core. And then I'll not embarrass you by asking you the model number. Convoy. Convoy. I think it's the M6 or 6PS. Or I can't remember. I haven't actually reviewed that. Uh, but a pretty decent torch. So we'll get back to finding animals. <laughs> 